Westminster College has a mummy on campus and many legends surrounding it. One is that students would put it in other people's beds. This week, the mummy was taken out of its coffin, and I was there to see that it revealed some new findings. The mummy at Westminster is out of her coffin for the first time. Underneath, the team found a painting of a goddess. The tears are linked to a preservative salt called natron. I was very excited. I had seen a number of other coffins from the same archaeological site that had that imagery. The tears symbolize sorrow. The mummy has been on campus since 1885, donated by a grad who was a missionary in Egypt. She's called Pesed, which is the modern-day equivalent of the name Claire. Her life dates to 250 B.C. It was finally time to clean, stabilize, and improve the condition of the mummy. The body was wrapped two inches in linens and resin, with the quality higher than expected. She was clearly from a wealthy family who cared a lot about her and provided very well for her burial and, and her afterlife. Pesed had damage to her feet and head. Mimi Levesque is working to fix it, including the mask covering her face and a broken nose. And I'm using um, tinted pieces of Japanese tissue to mend around the breaks on the edge so that you won't notice that the break is there. Um, and so she'll look more like she has a full nose. This is how they think Pesed looked before her death. A 50 or 60 year old woman, around 4 feet 8 inches tall. She had osteoporosis. Her legs were in great shape from activity. The writing outside the coffin translates to an offering to a god of eternity, her name, and a little genealogy. This is the mask with which she went into eternity. And so I feel as though I'm actually helping her in her afterlife, which is a pretty wonderful feeling. Pesed will go back in the coffin once she's fixed, so students can see her for the next thousand or two thousand years. And that gives anybody an afterlife, good heavens. I mean, if somebody knew my name after two, three hundred thousand years, I'd be amazed. So, this is what we're doing for her. New questions will arise in the future, probably ones we can't even think of. The preservation is so those future generations will be able to investigate when new questions come up.